This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Welcome back to our Human Humane Architecture show here from our hot, exotic, tropical paradise of Honolulu, Hawaii. This is every other week's edition with your hosts, Martin Despang and Soto Brown. Good afternoon. Good to have you here, especially since, uh, you know, the Descendants movie. Yes. It starts with, uh, you know, Clooney saying, you know, people think we never get sick here. But actually, we have all the same illnesses yes, and we sicknesses. Do. So last time I was sick, and you are sick now, but you're tougher than me because you're still here, and I was at home. So I, I'm a really tough guy. But <coughs> but then again, let's not talk about old or young people's sicknesses yes, here. But that's right. about something that's relevant to more people than us. That's right. But that's right. maybe we stay with like not feeling well and things we can prevent more than others. And so things if, we can protect ourselves. Exactly. Yes. So let's go to picture number one. Picture number one is this uh, is we can protect ourselves from sunburn, which we in fact should do here because yes, we it's, should. Not, it's not very healthy. And how does this relate to architecture? On the very left, I took this picture when the symphony building was going up. Correct. And I was obviously in the shade from this tree to be Correct. able to not get burned. Correct. And I took this picture, I was thinking, why is the building so sort of exhibitionistly opening itself to the sun? And I think, I mean, you confirmed that there were some litigations here uh, with this building. There was, a problem, the there was a problem with the, uh, either the opacity of the windows by the window tint or the excessive reflectivity of the windows. Mm -hmm. And the picture on the right very clearly shows that sunburn is a problem. Mm -hmm. This course shows it in a very sexy way, mm -hmm. but that is nonetheless a problem. Mm -hmm. And a building that gives off too much heat, reflects too much heat, can be a problem for, exactly. for the rest of the people around exactly. it. Exactly, and this building is also directed the wrong way because it's blocking the wind flow besides. Yes. And I, have, I just couldn't find the picture. I took one coming from Ward from, yeah, uh, from Mackay, and when the evening sun is just yes. like looks a mirror. It does. It, looks it like does. A, it goes right into your face. E exactly. But there is a way to deal with that type of thing, and that's what we're going to be talking about this this particular show. If we go to our next slide, yeah. we're going to be talking about screens, mm -hmm. and there are various ways to screen buildings. We're going to start with metal screens. This is the Bank of Hawaii branch when it first opened on Kapahulu Avenue in 1961. And this is the original appearance, which unfortunately you and I bemoan is no longer there. It's oh been boy. changed for a number of reasons, partly to accommodate an ATM in the facade. But if you'll notice, it's got a metal screen, not only on the front of the building, which we see here, but also on the right side. Well, this front no longer looks like this, but in our next picture, we can see that the metal original metal screening is still intact on the right side. So mm -hmm. let's go to that photo and there it is as photographed by Martin himself. And you pointed out this is a very simple structure. Those are just a series of circles which are attached to each other. The beauty of this is the depth of those circles gives you sideways sun protection depending on when the sun is in that position. And while it's doing a lot of screening, it is also providing a lot of visual access in and out. So if you look in the lower right picture, left picture, you can see that looking in and looking out, there's a great deal of free vision, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and yet you're also getting the protection mm -hmm. from the sun when it is yeah. coming from the side. Great point. So you get the best of both worlds. Right. You get almost 100% shading, and you also get almost 100% transparency. Correct. Especially looking, you know, horizontally. Directly on. And I want to point out in the very, in the, you know, you shouldn't drive on this island. You should use what I use, my bicycle. And it has the same gold color than the screen. And so. it's got circular wheels. Too. And it's so metal. It's, and it's metal. So it's propped up against the metal screen just the way it should be. And, and you pointed out this is... So with metal, you can be very thin and very lightweight. And here a tube is the most structural form. So the two together, this is a very light applied screen. And yet that, very strong. Yeah, and, but you can still attach it to like, like a dress. You can exactly. wear a dress because it's relatively light. Mm -hmm. It doesn't put, it's not a knight's, you know, armor. Exactly that right. You carry, but a very and we're gonna, we're, this is, we're going to get to that we, because we the strength that. and the flexibility and all that stuff mm -hmm. is, uh, is yeah, very yeah. important for metal screens. Let's move to the most famous screen street here in Honolulu. Which one is that? That is King Street. And here's one building that's on King Street still today, standing in this location from the 1960s. 
And this is, I don't know what the name of the building is, but it has the Goody Goody Restaurant and Bar in it, so that's mm -hmm. what I refer to mm -hmm. it as. And directly from, directly across the street, as you see at the lower left, you can see through into the inside. You move a little bit to the side, and now you've got a really nice, almost smooth gold mm -hmm. surface. Mm -hmm. And as we just said, this does the, it does the screening, it also covers up, and we'll talk about that in a minute as well, but that is a freestanding structure that almost, that, that's self-supporting. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't, it's not part of the building, it's not structural, mm -hmm. but it's very easy to apply mm -hmm. to a concrete building, mm -hmm. and that's what we see here. Yeah, and I love, took the picture on the bottom right some years ago when I was celebrating the new bike lane on Mm, on yes. King Street, which I, which I introduced, not reintroduced, well, they reintroduced bicycling, which Jay was one of the founding fathers, not just of Hurrah. think but bicycling. And it struck me that, you know, it looks like a gold bar because there's another thing, this is re reflectivity, right? Yeah. The sun is basically bouncing off yep. and it's not going through because whatever is solid, you know, is opaque, it's going to block the sun. But that light is basically going to be reflected and brings out that, you know, in this case, and very sort of flamboyant right. gold color. And yet, it's not as reflective as the mirror-like windows of the Symphony Park no, building, no. which we saw, which can cause problems. It's, it's not. And the, the most iconic building of this yep. sort of type here, we always sh sometimes show as the permanent background, and now we will look at it in detail, and it's almost across the street, right? Right. This is the King Center building, which is on King Street, as the name implies. And just as we showed before, this is an exterior metal screen, a gold color. And if you look in the lower right corner, in addition to the pretty woman who's wearing the gold gown, mm -hmm. and I think that that is, that, that's something you came up with, but I think that's a really good allegory for the exterior of this building being sheathed in something like a gold gown. Mm -hmm. But if the picture next to her, looking directly up from underneath, you can see that that is the freestanding metal mesh sculpture, which is held to the building. It is separated from the building. So as you pointed out, that allows air movement of the natural air movement of the wind. It also helps vent warm air up through the open top of the building. Mm -hmm. So up, up, up the open top above uh, where the difference between the mesh and the facade is. Mm -hmm. So rather than enclosing it and turning it into a little hothouse, mm -hmm. what we've got is something that allows cooling by mm -hmm. also keeping mm -hmm. shade on the front of the building. Mm -hmm. And another sort of analogy from clothing we could have made to some uh, Arab attire. Yes. Where the women also wear gowns and cover their... Yes. You were actually initially looking for a picture from the 50s in Waikiki where a woman was wearing something yes. like that. Right, and right, And so right. there is some, you know, we can learn from how we appropriately dress or how we act, you know, in the sun and staying out of it uh, for architecture. So these buildings are wearing these bioclimatic... Right. Uh, skirts or attires or gowns and 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 staying quite comfortably because as you said you know it's easy breezy it, yep. it keeps the ventilation but it cools uh, the wind down because of its shading and then yes. in this cavity space it sucks up the hot air through a heat and island it effect, goes away. Uh, excuse me um, a stack effect solar chimney effect yes. so it's very cleverly sort of uh, bioclimatically engineered with passive systems. There's no mm -hmm. oil burned, right. except the production of the material. And, maybe we and that's a one-time that thing. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So um, we sort of close this sort of gold collection here yeah. and go to some, we still stay in the metal realm. Yeah. Well, no, this one here is just, we threw it in because uh, this, is not ex this is not exclusive what we show you. This is inclusive. We want you guys to go out. This is just another one. This is uh, on Atkinson Drive. It's another gold skin and you find your own because yeah. there are tons of more out there. It's just Correct. creating an appetite here for you guys, for you right. to go out right. and, and find And notice again more. too, as we said, this, does a, this functions not only as a cover, as the way the gown functions mm -hmm. as a mm -hmm. cover, but it also allows you to see through to a degree, but it mostly covers up the things, the elements on the facade that you might not want people to see of mm -hmm. the mechanical things or mm -hmm. the disparate or mm -hmm. disconnected elements you get a more unified 
yeah. facade instead of that. Absolutely. So let's leave the gold realm here now, eventually, and go to uh, stay with metal, the next picture here. Right. This is an almost favorite hood uh, of Kapahulu, where we also, in the last show, found a lot of uh, sun slats. Yes. We also find a lot of sun screens here out of metal. Yeah. This originally was a savings and loan building, and it now just has various uh, other businesses in it. And you pointed out that this is a very clever design. It is metal, which has been sort of twisted into a wave motif. Mm -hmm. It's been punched through and twisted, so each one of those surfaces is at an angle. Mm -hmm. And that helps not only with shading, mm -hmm. but also we talked about water dripping off of yeah, things absolutely. too. So yeah. it sheds water. Yeah. And again, freestanding, applied to the building, mm -hmm. uh, lightweight, and yet very strong. Mm -hmm. And the next one is one we found. This is just exemplary for many others. This is where maybe less of the square footage of the building is covered. And uh, this is just one different. There's a whole variety. I mean, there's, mm -hmm. everything is possible, lots more. Yeah. Uh, here are these vertical, uh, basically, um, bands. And then um, you they inserted these uh, plates, uh, squares, and rectangles, and right. created this pattern right. randomly almost. Yes. And um, it it basically screens screens out the sun, but also screens out the sort of the profanity of right. whatever is happening behind. Correct. Correct. You can also keep out other things with screens, and we go to the next picture. Right. And screens like window screening, uh, like you see with the hat that the mannequin head is wearing on the right. Well, this is a building in Pule Circle, and this is a very interesting location of small apartment buildings that someday we probably will do a whole show about. Yeah. But uh, in this particular case, this building has got these two-story kind of atriums on the Makai side, but they have window screening for both of those two stories. Mm -hmm. So you've got this completely open space with a lot of air movement, but you're keeping out the insects. Absolutely. And so it also, as you pointed out, doesn't increase the opacity a great deal, so you have a lot of visual access, mm -hmm. but you are also protected from another element that wants to do you harm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to point out another aspect of screens, this is not so much uh, about sun anymore, because you can also do this inside, but it's about privacy. And yeah. let's check out a prime example for that one, or at least what used to be a prime example. Right, right. So this is a, uh, what was originally the Liberty Bank, which is on Ward Avenue, and it looks like a miniature version of the Hawaii State Capitol. Mm -hmm. And if we come back to us here in the studio right now, you can see one of those pieces, uh, those ceramic elements that was included in the interior of this building. Unfortunately, as you pointed out, these have been removed in a remodeling project. These were used to screen the upper, the upper floors of the interior of the building so that the employees could look out, but the customers could not look in. Yeah. And to the very bottom left is us at Dokomomo at an event where we were too late to prevent them from throwing this out and telling them that what they think is not cool anymore is way cool yeah. and, you know, it's vintage. And you couldn't replace it. But they it. had unfortunately decided and already commissioned, so now there's some more generic sort of flashy a freeform stuff in there right. that has none of the capabilities that this material has here. And yeah. if we can get the pe the camera to our table here, because uh, unfortunately, at least uh, we then salvaged uh, the the elements and and we're treating us for Christmas. And each of one, if each of us members got got one of these. And when you look at that, and maybe we, here's the original uh, sort of interior. I mean, the intricacy and the delicacy. This is a ceramic piece. This is ceramic. This is breakable, exactly. Um, but it's got a beautiful white finish. Mm -hmm. It's got this nice mm -hmm. sort of off-white finish, shiny, lustrous. Um, really, each one of these is an art piece, I yeah. would say. No, I, and I there were probably hundreds of them. And isn't it very exotic? Yeah. And what it did is was allowing the employees in the center. Yeah, here. Well, like through the yeah. Let's demonstrate that through the desperate housewife, your desperate housewife, now effect to look through. But I cannot really see you because you're camouflaged. You're behind right. and in the shade. But I so can these employees out. could look out. They could breathe the same air that the people, the customers breathe. Right. And they were part of it and yet not be visible because right. they had their privacy right. not to be stared at when they're working. Exactly. And also, it's a security measure, too. A absolutely. I can look down and see you and absolutely. see what you're doing, but you don't notice and, me. And that gets us actually to the other <laughs> materials that we have on the table. And let's go to the next picture to introduce... Uh, 
sort of what we're talking about. Yeah. So we're, you know, we had another working title before that sort of goofy one that we gave, uh, you know, with a gentle um, grills and gones. Yeah, but we yeah, had yeah, sunscreens, yeah, yeah. but we thought that would be too generic. Correct. But it has to do with like, the, you know, the when you apply the sunscreen, it's the same with your sunbum in this case, mm -hmm. which is a company I always like because they're seem to have a holistic view and the design of their yeah. their their containers and everything seems yes. sort of pretty cleverly designed and they have SPC as you can see 50 and 70 so and and just some uh, modern beachwear you know with mm -hmm. with this lady it's not absolutely tight so this sort of you know, uh, pattern, uh, yeah. the perforation right. is shading her, and it's also covering up whatever she wants to have not not absolutely seen. Right. Although in this case, she could probably not have to cover up. No, no, she doesn't have to. Very I good, don't think so. Good, good point, good point. Yeah. So let's, let, what does it have to do with architecture? Let's go to the next pictures, and me share some of our uh, sort of um, encounterments with meshes here. This is introducing something that uh, is manufactured by a company, GKD, and uh, we did a cafe with it, and we did a metal mesh uh, sky that was alluding to sort of the very glowing sunset of these areas where they basically make the coffee. It's a very yeah. abstract interpretation right. of that. Right. And you can see at some points the subconstruction and, and all, the, all the wiring and the stuff, but you can sort of barely see it. Um, if we move to the next picture, um, uh, an application that's more about us here, about sunscreening as well, and privacy. We clad this tram station here with it. And you can see on the detail left that there is light coming yes. through, and there's also a breeze coming through, but they're supposed to shelter you from the rain as well. So we doubled them up. So, uh, so they're, you know, tied, they're rain tied. There's also this interesting moray effect. Yeah. And we use this picture to introduce you guys when you design, design from inside out, as you already pointed out, mm -hmm. as much as from outside in. Right. Because you still want to have, right. if not a view, but sufficient daylight efficiency right. in, in your building. Right, right. And let's move to the next picture, which is another train station of the same line that we tested another. And this is getting so, some very, you know, uh, uh, simple off the shelf industrial gradings right. that we discovered. In this case, we were cladding it over a wood cladding that the wood wasn't aging, wasn't getting gray as right. soon as usually, and that has to do because this uh, screen to some degree uh, keeps away the water, but even more it keeps away the sun, yes. and you need both to make wood yes. gray. Right. So we just covered this almost by accident, and um, so we can go to the next picture and uh, see that on the right, this is a grocery store we designed, and to the right is the very sort of not very pleasant way. You usually have to cover up some rooms where they keep their money and stuff yep. like that, so they prison it with this metal yes. grating. So we use this horizontal flat steel grating to louver the building with and also integrate egress things. But then I want to point out at the very top, this is another metal grating that's usually used on floors to scrape the dirt right. off your shoes. Right. And we discovered that one has great shading capability to show the next picture to create this sort of thermally comfortable situations in a very sort of uh, industrial kind of very rugged ways. Yes. And um, we move on to the to the next picture, which is uh, um, introducing the, the metal grading as well, as well in, in another project that we've shown before, which is this uh, school diner. Since the lanai, we didn't, because of cost reasons, we didn't want to make it deeper, as deep as it needed to be to shade the glass behind. So we introduced uh, then what we had learned before through the other project, the metal grading, applying it to the south side, and these, these ribbons of, of metal flat steel are perfectly adjusted almost by accident to the sun angles. And we see in the next picture, uh, we see the winter condition where the sun is low and shoots through. You can see these guys, this is back home where it gets cold right now. It dropped below uh, freezing already. Poor guys out there. And next picture, we privileged ones here. Uh, have this condition all year round. And you right. can see that this metal grating is perfectly shading uh, the glass way before it, so even stay cool on the lanai right. in that right. situation, which right. you would want to. Right. Once again, with a very, very simple um, material, a very industrial off-the-shelf material. Introducing one more material um, is uh, the next picture, 
This is basically a, uh, a, a membrane. Uh, uh, this is a, um, a PVC membrane, a perforated, a micro perforated PVC membrane that we use for a grocery store. We're inspired by these trucks who have these tarps. And you can see the people installing it. It goes very fast. I mean, you can roll this up, and it's very lightweight. It's like a fabric. You know, sh yeah, and shipping this in, you know, yeah. is very... The manufacturer gave himself a very provocative name. They're called Ferrari, and that doesn't sound very <laughs> cheap. And, in fact, they aren't that expensive. Yeah. And, and so they're called uh, Ferrari architectural, um, you know, screens or something like that. And w when you use that, you know, uh, think about, I, I think, the poetry of things. And the next picture is, is my privileged view out of my place, and when I see, you know, how Diamond Head changes, on the top is our condition right now yes. because it rains so much. Yes. Uh, when it's winter in Hawaii, it's when Diamond Head is green, as yep. they say, right? And yep. then you got the summer condition at the bottom, and you got the rain of the few couple days uh, in the middle. So it's so amazing how um, nature here can be organically dynamic just through yeah. sort of the changing elements. So uh, number 24, the next picture is showing how through the sort of intentional use of that metal mesh, the same thing happens. This is the same facade, been taken at a different time of the day. Basically at the bottom it's backlit in the afternoon and at the top it's frontlit. And at the top you can also see where it's shading, although the client value engineered the horizontal part that it also needed, so never mind. So that would need to be added to give the full thermal performance, but you can see that you can create spectacle just yep. back to the gowns and the dresses of the women. Yep, and also screens. it depends on, in some cases, whether the whether it's daytime and the exterior screen is lit from the exterior, mm -hmm. or whether it's nighttime and it's lit from the interior by artificial lighting, mm -hmm. in which case the same effect would occur as you see in this picture here, just based on the position Absolutely. of the sun. Absolutely. So to so to, aren't screens cool? And Our screens are and wonderful. Let's grab some here. Okay, let's yeah, yeah. So come, dress. come back to us, uh, Ray. Come back to us in the studio so that people can see. So here are some of the screens that um, come from a German company that you've been talking about that are very cool. Um, and not only are these these started out as just purely industrial things, mm -hmm. but they have these beautiful decorative uses. And see this one actually can bend. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cool? So yeah. I could I could put it over my face in a bended motion and look, yeah. there I am. But yeah. this also does, when I look at it this way, I can see light through here, but it blocks a great deal of mm -hmm. light. And look at the look at what you can do with it. Yeah. So these are really cool things. I, cool. I'm and I'm I'm really impressed with these. Yeah. And so Screens are cool, cool yeah. and cool. cool they and can cool. keep you cool yes. and look cool. And that's right. And uh, is that something that other people recognize too? Yes. I had the chance to fly over to San Francisco, next mm. picture. Yeah. And I saw the, no, the new uh, multi transit <laughs> hub there. There's a Caesar Pelly tower left to it, and this new tower is going up. So this is going to centralize all the the Caltran yeah. and the. Um, and the, uh, the BART. The BART, exactly there. And they see what they have. They're crazy about screens. Yes. But the screens here, this is San Francisco. It, it is, was the other saying, the coldest winter is the summer you know, in San Francisco? Yeah, exactly. Something, like, something that. like that, yeah. So, so in this canyon of buildings, you hardly ever get sun to begin with. Right. So this screen is doing nothing but looking pretty. Right. Which is already, you know, it looks like it could be in Hawaii, there's a palm tree, but right. you don't get fooled. It gets, no, it no, gets no. cold yeah, there. It sure does. So it's nice, but it is, how do we always... Nice ornamental. Call that it's purely ornamental. ornamental. Exactly. And again, ornamental is not bad, but it doesn't have necessarily a real function as the screening that we've been talking about does in the optimum usage. Exactly. So let's wrap up the show with some potential suggestions for a reintroduction yeah. of screens yeah. to our scene here. This referring to a show we did, one of our first shows was the International Marketplace. The picture I took was when it was under construction. And I get overly excited about the scaffolding, the nature of scaffolding, yeah, right. where you basically create this maze of you know, individual members, posts to hold it up, but many of them, and then these horizontal walkways, catwalks that the workers go. And I bet you this is pretty sufficiently shading the yes. building while still letting the breeze go oh, yeah. through. Oh, yeah. And you create new lanai. So wouldn't that be a theme for, for buildings it to keep would. them easy breezy? It would. Don't put a facade on that's glass or whatever that right. can heat up. Right. This is a very sort of funky way of screens. 
But you pointed out, you know, there's a relationship to Asia. There's a tradition, right? And right? and what happens in Asia? Because you're you're fond of talking about the use of organic materials and and getting away from fossil fuels, etc. Um, in Asia, traditionally, scaffolding for buildings was built out of bamboo. And I don't know if they still do that, but certainly in Hong Kong, for many years, for decades, as they were building even tall high rises, mm -hmm. they had bamboo exterior scaffolding rather than metal. Exactly. And we got to hurry up to finish the show. The next picture is our raw model in nature, literally. So leaves on a tree, they give enough opacity to shade where the sun can't go through, but where the sun can go through, you get enough light and you get enough breeze through. Right. So why don't we take this also literal yes. and, and do facades like that right. in the next picture. And in fact, we have. It refers to a show, when you can get the next picture, it refers to a show that at the very bottom right, Jay was doing with Scott Wilson, and they called it Architectural Aspirations. Because this is a picture from a project that's executed in Milan, which is a temperate climate. So these, right. these trees even get rid of their leaves. Correct. But we could do it. And you found the building that demonstrates yeah. that the most. Right. Just and this is the parking building that is for the South Shore Market, the TJ Maxx building, mm -hmm. uh, the, the store, et cetera. There are a few other stores. And in the Ward area, which is uh, now obviously being very extensively redeveloped, there is obviously there, as you can see, a complete exterior covering of organic, actual growing plants, but they need the support of a metal screen or an artificial uh, element for them to climb on. So this is a combination of an exterior screen mm -hmm. with actual plants growing on it, kind of yeah. the best of both worlds. And, and there's a very sort of tiny, out of little, just wires, three-dimensional, as you said, Check it out, but don't get run over because it's like yeah. there's the ramp for the cars. This yeah, is for exactly. Cars. Right. <laughs> um, we're going to finish the show with once again referring to Primitiva, our project, where we use uh, another, it's vegetation again, but the vegetation is freestanding. But behind that is another mesh that we introduced before. It's Correct. a sort of fisher net. Yeah, so come back to us in the studio, Ray, so we can show people. There we go. And it doesn't really, you don't see it that easily in this mm -hmm. particular picture. But this so, is wire mesh. Yeah. And it's not blocking much sun, but it's leaving, it's giving security, protection. Right. It's letting the breeze Correct. go through. And Correct. vegetation behind is a good combination. Right. Correct. So, so uh, do it. Do it. And uh, another one who has done it, this is the next picture and the last picture. And this is introducing one of the next show. This is our Tropic here, number one, Professor David Rockwood who has worked with his emerging uh, uh, students on uh, sort of innovating the, the very island tradition of, uh, of screens. Yeah. So we will dedicate a show to that. And until then, uh, stay easy breezy easy and breezy. put the sunscreen on and uh, keep enjoying this wonderful <laughs> tradition. Yeah. All righty. See, See you then. later. Bye bye.